I can already tell this video is going to be an absolute pain to edit and I'm really not looking forward to that but I do think this video is going to be really informative for you guys and I'm really excited for you to watch. So I know a lot of people whose wardrobes consist of black, white and neutrals and for some people that is totally okay. I own a lot of white and that's totally fine. If you are happy with that, that's totally okay if that's your style but I do know a lot of people who would really like to delve into the world of colour and that's quite daunting for some people and I completely understand that it can be really really difficult pairing together the right colours so I'm here to tell you the easiest colour combinations that are guaranteed to go together and I just want to make it as easy as possible for you guys to put together a nice colourful outfit because come on wearing a colourful outfit just makes you feel good it makes you happy endorphins I don't know any other scientific happy words, but you get what I mean. So, on to the video. So before we start, I would just like to say that everything in this video is purely what I have learnt from experience. I am not a professional, I am not an expert, this is just kind of the basic things that I've learned through my styling days. Like you might find some of the color combinations that I state in this video maybe don't work in every case. And that's totally okay, but I just kind of wanted to give you a vague idea of what I feel works. Also, there is a lot of this that is completely subjective. Some of you guys might absolutely hate half the stuff in this video, but some of you guys might find it really, really helpful. Some of you guys might agree with me 100%. So in my opinion, an outfit works best if you have three colors or should I say up to three colors? So you could have an outfit that is just one color that works completely okay. Having tops, bottoms, shoes, bag, all kind of match the same color range makes you look put together. It makes you look like you've put thought into your outfit, even though you might literally have just seen the first blue things in your wardrobe and just whacked them on your body. Also, you can wear more than one tone of that colour and it still looks completely okay. So if you want to expand to working with two colours in an outfit, the easiest possible way to do this is for one of those colours to be black or white. Black or white go with anything. The only thing that I don't necessarily think goes together is black and navy blue. Like I said at the beginning, there are instances where this can work, but I would generally stray, stray away from black and navy blue or black and brown also I find sometimes kind of look a bit fishy but white goes with completely and utterly anything. When you are adding a third colour to an outfit there are some things that you have to consider first like which colours actually go together. So for that I'm going to take you back to art GCSE days. So I did art GCSE and art A level. I know quite a bit about the colour wheel, a lot of you probably know what the colour wheel is, it's very standard, you probably learnt about it at school, whether you remember it or not is a different story. So let's talk about the colours around the colour wheel, so you've got red, orange, yellow, green, blue and purple. So red, yellow and blue are your primary colours and then the colours in between are actually those colours mixed together, they are secondary colours. These are basically the most standard colours that you can possibly work with, they are the colours in their true form. Typically the colours in this wheel that go together are the colours opposite each other and the colours next to each other. So you have harmonious colours and complementary colours. But because they are all quite bright, they can often clash or they can often be very overwhelming. So although this generally is a rule in the art world, it doesn't necessarily work with clothing because it can just look very you know but what you can do to match these colors is work with them in their different forms so this wheel actually has a wider version on the outside of these colors you have all the colors mixed with white which essentially makes their pastel colors the lighter version of red is pink the lighter version of orange is does that even have a name like light orange the pastel version of yellow is lemon green is I don't know, like lime or maybe olive or mint. The lighter version of blue is just baby blue and the lighter version of purple is lilac. And then as well as that, you also have the colors darker forms. So the darker version of red is burgundy, orange is rust, yellow is mm, mustard. That's a tricky one, but doesn't matter. Green is forest green or even khaki as well. That's a nice version of a darker green. Um, blue is navy and purple is Plum. I know there's an entire colour spectrum out there. 
I'm just naming the most basic lights and darks of every true color. If you think of these colors as having three different categories, pastels, true colors we'll call them, and dark colors. So three categories. If you take two of these colors from separate categories, they are likely gonna work together. And if you do want a third color in the outfit, just to kind of neutralize it a little bit, black or white just kind of brings it back so that it's not too overwhelming. So for example, you could have pastel green, you can have like a mint green and a bright yellow. Sometimes people forget that pink isn't actually true color. It's literally just red mixed with white. So that makes it a nice light color. You can mix pink with red or you can mix baby blue and yellow. Moving on to pairing the darker colors with a light color, you could have um, plum, like a dark purple and yellow, or you can have plum and baby blue. Now, I know a lot of people are a fan of mixing pastel colors, having like baby blue and baby pink in an outfit. Personally, that doesn't really work for me. I'm not a huge fan of that. I would never wear like light wash blue jeans and a cute pink cardigan. I mean, this is just saying my style at the moment, but maybe in the future I will try that. So please don't come at me if I'm ever wearing blue jeans and a pink cardigan. <laughs> if you did want to knock it down to two colors, but you wanted to make them nice and colorful, you could just knock out the black or white. And those colors all work really, really nicely together. This kind of applies when maybe you have fewer elements to the outfit. So maybe instead of wearing like a top and bottom, you're wearing a dress and then shoes and accessory. That way you don't wanna be kind of bunging in three different colors in there. You just wanna go for two. So you could go for, I know I have a lemon dress and I could pair it with uh, a navy blue pair of heels and my bag or I do have a baby blue dress and I could pair this with my bright red heels and my bright red bag. They look to me aesthetically pleasing. So another super easy way that people, it might not even occur to people that this is a way to know which colors go together is look at your clothes, look at which clothes have patterns on them. Whichever colors are in those patterns will go in the outfit. So for example, I have this dress right here, this gorgeous pink floral dress, and let me hold it up for you. So as you can see, it is pink, but it has got uh, like a dark green in it, it's got red in it, it's got lilac in it. All these colors would go together. I think this dress would look insane. It would look so cool with like a short sleeve white top underneath it and then some like high top red converse or even some high top lilac converse. I think that would look so cool, but you can literally just pair it with any of the colors that are in the pattern. I also have this top here. It's just kind of got like a little tie at the front, but it might look black on camera, but these flowers are actually navy blue and they obviously have a white outline. So the yellow and the navy blue go together. So I might wear this with say white jeans and then I'll have a blue bag and blue heels. That would look totally cute. Finally, I would like to show you this navy blue. It's a very, very like bright navy blue. You might actually just say that this is just a normal blue, um, but it does have this gorgeous kind of olive green embroidered detail as well as some, it does have some like electric blue and some lilacs in there as well. But I would pair this with this kind of olive green off the shoulder top just because i think the colors just look insane together just because the green in this skirt ties in with the green in the shirt and that is generally how i would pair together outfits that have kind of like multiple colors within a pattern i think that's really just such an easy way to put together an outfit. Just to finish off this video, I would like to say, if you guys ever see me defying any of these kind of like little rules or guidelines, should I say more guidelines, this video is for people who are just kind of dipping their toe into the water, you know, just trying to get a little bit more colorful. If I'm trying color combinations that don't necessarily work in this video, do not fret, it's just because I am pushing boundaries. I'm trying to see what works. I'm still learning myself. I'm still growing in my style journey, if you will. But yes, I really do hope this video helped you guys out. If you try any of these little techniques, please let me know. If you found this video informative, give it a big thumbs up. And I will see you very, very soon for another video.